Mendel. Gregor Zon Mendel was a great scientist who was an Australian citizen and he did a lot of experiments related with heredity. That's why he is also known as a father of heredity. He was uh, an Australian priest and he did a lot of experiment with the uh, pea plant. And why he selected pea plant, I'm going to tell you about the selection of pea plant. Because there were many plants, there were many animals. In spite of all this, why he selected pea plant, there must be certain reason. Now I want to mention those reasons. Look at this. Reasons of selection of pea plant. Pea plants have a lot of varieties having definite and easily detectable traits. Some of the pea plants are tall, some are dwarf, some of them have red flower, some of them have white flower, some of them have inflated pod like this, some of them have constricted pod like this, some of them have yellow seed, some of them have green seed. There are varieties of pea plant. That's why in his experiment he can take any of them to cross. I mean to say when tall is crossed with dwarf then what happens when uh, this yellow seeded pea plant is crossed with green seeded pea plant then what happens he can make experiment with different varieties that's why because of different varieties he selected the pea plant next number two they have bisexual flower which is suitable for self pollination and also for cross pollination pea plants have bisexual flower having both the male and female part and its flower is closed and its flower is closed that's why if we do not open its petal then what happens then the pollen grains of the same flower goes to the stigma of the same self-pollination occurs and what is the result of self-pollination can be uh, uh, can be obtained easily but if you want to cross pollinate just for example if we want to cross between the tall and dwarf pea plant then uh, the flower of the dwarf pea plant can be opened and pollen grains of the tall pea plant can be transferred to the stigma but before the transfer of this pollen grain of tall to the dwarf we have to remove the stamen stamen of this flower and transfer of uh, the pollen grain of the tall to the dwarf can be done and this way cross pollination can also be done and result of the cross pollination can be obtained easily now third point pea plants have short life cycle so results can result can be obtained uh, obtained in short time period meaning is very simple its life cycle is very short that's why the result can be obtained within few months and if we want to go through different generation, first generation, what happens, second generation, what happens, third generation, what happens, we can go to different generation and we can observe uh, what happens, what, how the uh, heredity character transmits from parents to the offspring to different generation. Now, next, number four, pea plant produces many seeds in every generation which helps to obtain correct conclusion. In pea plant, actually pea seed are found in the pea plot, pea pot, and inside the pea pot will have four, five, or six uh, pieces. And these pieces can be collected, and hundreds of pea seed can be obtained from the single plant. And if we are doing some experiment with certain uh, pea plant, if by mistake or somehow the experiment is failed, then remaining pieces can be used used for the same experiment and we can do another experiment also in, instead of the previous failed experiment that's why these are the reason of selection of pea plant by the Mendel now I want to mention here uh, the different characteristic characters of pea plant selected by the Mendel in his experiment he took these are the these characters what are these height seed coat color seed color texture of the seed pot color, pot texture, flower position, these are the characters selected by the Mendel. And he found that some of the characters are dominant and some of the characters are recessive. When we cross between tall and dwarf pea plant, then all the pea plant appears tall in first generation which is called dominant. In the same way, when uh, seed coat color, brown seed coat colored pea plant is if crossed with white seed coat colored pea plant then all the pea plant in first generation is found to be brown in the same way other also can be recognized like that these are the dominant factors and these are the recessive factors every character has got two factors at least and they are also called determiners at least two determiners and 
he selected these characters in his experiment.